feels really strange. It does. It does feel like kind of a movie scenario. The Herbert Hoover Huskies are living out a true Cinderella story. Uh, that emotion is very high for me. Just cause, you know, you know, this is the seniors in this group's last practice today at the Joe and you know it's their last game and you know it is. Tonight was the last time Hoover would practice at Joe Eddy Cowley Field. The 2016 flood wiped out Herbert Hoover High School and much of the Elk River community. Ever since the flood it's like everybody can come together at once. Football was about the only thing that was normal that year with some of the games you know even though it was not everybody can come. It was still something the community can look forward to. Now a new school is being built and the Huskies will start playing on that field this fall. So tonight was the last time on the grass and what a way to end an era practicing for a state championship game for the first time in program history. A lot of these group of boys have been together since we we're like five, six. I mean, I've been doing this with these guys for a long time since we were in middle league together, five and six years old. So to uh, be in a state championship for our last game ever, it's pretty cool. But it didn't come easy. Hoover started this season 0-2 and riddled with injuries. Our kids just continue to fight. They continue to respond. We felt we had a good football team. If we had everyone, we started getting healthier. Uh, with health, we got ball bounced our way, a little bit of luck, and with that, we started building confidence. And our team, we, we just took off. The Huskies posted 10 wins in a row, with those final three wins coming in the state playoffs against strong programs, Clay County, Winfield, and Frankfurt. In that first playoff game against Clay County, they won 63-26. to Yeah, that first playoff win, getting that under our belt. Sophomore quarterback Dane Hatfield totaled seven touchdowns against the Panthers, six of them rushing. It's just really how I've been raised and how I am in all these situations. I just stay calm and know that I gotta get it gotta go get it done and trust my teammates and that's all good to do. That that's a kid, you know, and he deserves everything he gets. He's a hard worker, he's a great athlete, but he's an even better kid. You know, in the locker room around these guys, they, they like him, they rally behind him, and that's what you got to have in, in a quarterback and a leader. The Winfield game was just a little closer. It came down to the final minute and 20 seconds. Hoover was down 20 to 26, and Hatfield and the Huskies had to drive 99 yards to win it. I fumbled right before that. I told him, like, when he fumbled, I was like, bro, it's not over. Go do it for us, go do it for the team, for the community. So he responded, and, uh, you know, it was pretty cool that we got it done that way. Hoover did it, drove the length of the field. Then Hatfield threw a touchdown pass with two seconds left on the clock to tie the game. Levi Paxton then came out to kick and they won it 27 to 26. It was crazy uh, to be able to, to be able to hold the ball that Levi kicked through. That, that's uh, that's something I always remember. Hoover then rolled on to defeat Frankfurt on their turf 17 to 10. Three road playoff games, three wins. And now the number nine seeded Huskies are preparing preparing to face number two independence for the state title, a title that would mean so much to a team and community. You know, it, there's nothing like the river and uh, I've grown up here my whole life. So, you know, it, it's it's pretty cool to be getting to do it my senior year for, for not only us, but for the community as well. But regardless of Friday night's outcome, this Cinderella story still has a happy ending. It's pretty cool to experience the uh, to be with people that you care about and you feel care about you, you know, get the opportunity to play in a state championship for a little small small town in West Virginia. I mean, that that's huge.